even though this is the law, universal law, you desire it. You start pursuing. As you pursue, your faith increases. Your efficiency increases. The cumulative effect of your patience or efficiency and faith, you gain the goal, whatever that goal be. And when you gain the goal, it is given by him. But he will not give you unless you put forth the effort for it. Now, he says, this is the universal law. But alpa medhasa, medha shakti meaning discriminative power of the intellect. When it is alpa, very little, meaning dull-witted fools, thoughtlessly, huh, they strive to get at things of the world outside, objects, emotions and thoughts, power, position, status, wealth, a greater business, a larger business, more power, one more wife, a few more children, one more house. These are the things that you want. They put forth their effort with great faith. Their faith in themselves increases. Their confidence that they will get it is more and more until at last they get what they want. And what is it that they wanted? A bubble. Why? Andavatu. It is that which has got an end. It is a finite thing. Your little baby son cries and cries for a balloon because when he walked out he saw a balloon. He wanted a balloon. The father told him, Sonny, this is useless. This will break. I went, okay, until at last he was given. And it was filled with helium. So he holds on to a thread and he sees that it is standing there. Ha, 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 ha. And it is being a baby. He suddenly wanted to suck his thumb, but therefore he it has gone. Ah, it has gone crying. I told you, you will never understand. You are like your mother and you go and purchase another one and give it. This time tie it on his own shirt or buttons, so that even if he sucks the thumb, it will be standing there. The father and the mother, the son came home. By the time you undress, <laughs> to relax and sit down, you hear suddenly a sound. <coughs> Once the sound has come, within 22 seconds, you hear the howling cry of that tragedy that has happened to the little baby. All of us, are we not running after balloons, bubbles, which will not stay with you more than a few years? Everything in this world, this Einsteinian world, of time and place, everything is in a state of flux. So that unintelligent man, Selects finite things, pours out all his energy and vitality and faith in it. No doubt he gets it, but what he has get is only by the time he embraces it, it collapses. Not that you are destroying it, it is its nature it destroys. Mama Abhyayama Nuttamam. This your greater nature is nothing but that pure God, me, who is Abhayam, immutable, Anuttamam, inimitable. That is your nature. But not knowing it, here you are. That a very rich king or a rich man's son becoming an orphan and in an orphanage. The poor boy thinks that I have no father, no mother. He doesn't know that he's the son of so-and-so. And the so-and-so knows it and therefore he is watching. And the boy comes up. 
grows up, but he is a useless fellow. Why he has no education available? Suddenly a situation comes that the man decides to claim him. He comes and takes the child away home. There he starts educating him. Sonny, you are not that boy. You are my son. Your real name is this, not the old name. You are... It takes time for that boy to forget that I am the, um, a member of the Institute of Orphanage. Even after giving education, etc., still he remembers the old. It takes time for him to change his attitude. You having lived in the orphanage as a helpless, hapless, in the prison house of the body, mind and intellect so long that even when you are told that you are that higher reality, you say, Sarji, why are you exaggerating, unnecessarily pulling my leg? Why? I am a useless fellow. What to do? It takes time. Thus, Though I am that supreme unmanifest, everybody considers himself to be only the manifest and claims themselves to be only this body, mind and intellect. Why is it so? <coughs> because of your ignorance, the non-apprehension of your own higher nature. It is not that God is in the heavens, above the clouds. He is your own higher nature. You can dash into him and declare. Because it is your own. But you dare not claim him. Because you are in a non-apprehension. Which brings about the misapprehensions. And you are living in that sense of misapprehension. It is not that you are waiting for somebody's grace to take you there. He is your own. But you have to come to the senses and come to experience it. 